Hello everyone. The concept I'll be talking about about today is is about Dr. Frances Arnold and her work in directed evolution, um, which originated in the 1960s. Some background about Dr. Frances Arnold is that she is a Nobel Prize recipient in chemistry from 2018, and her work in directed evolution led to a revolution in the field of protein engineering. All right, now let's explain the idea of directed evolution. Let's assume that you have a gene of interest and that gene of interest makes a protein that basically you want to modify. And you can modify that protein in the aspect of uh, stability, activity, and cell activity, right? So to using your gene of interest as your starting material, you want to do some kind of uh, mutagenic PCR to that gene of interest, which is gonna give you a gene library of variants. And once you have those variants, you want to be able to express those variants in, in some kind of host cell. So that's when you start your expression process. And basically you can use um, equalized cells, uh, for example, and then you want to express those variants. And again, once you have those variants expressed, uh, from your host cells, then you want to move to the screening process of direct air evolution. And again, before you start all this, it's, it's a good idea to already know what kind of screening process you're going to be doing. In this case, I'm, I'm just showing you like a, one of them, which is a micro titer plate expression. You can do many variants using this method. Um, and again, um, depends on the thing, uh, on the characteristic that you want to change of the protein, uh, like I said, activity, stability, or selectivity, then you want to screen for, for that specific uh, characteristic. And unfortunately, a lot of these variants are not, don't have beneficial mutations. So most of them basically just go to trash. They, you don't need those ones. But it could be that you have a variant that is good, better than the starting material. And then uh, once you have that variant, then basically you want to use this as a starting material for your next round of uh, director evolution. So basically, again, you repeat the process again. Uh, you can do it one more time or as many times as you want in order to get the best uh, variant that has the most optimized activity, stability, or selectivity. And that's basically how you do director evolution in a nutshell. Thank you for watching. If you want more information, go to the links below.